Hello and welcome to BBC World News. I'm Martine Dennis. And I'm Aaron Heselhurst. Let's go and take a look at the headlines. On the second anniversary of the Syrian uprising, there are calls to arm the rebels. Thousands protest outside the EU summit in Brussels, demanding an end to austerity policies. Li Keqiang is appointed China's Prime Minister. He'll oversee the day-to-day -day running of government. And the battle of the smartphones intensifies as Samsung unveils its latest weapon in New York. There's a lot of hype around its new galaxy, but the question is, is it good enough to recapture the US market? Also coming up on the World Business Report, bosses at Boeing are in Japan telling airline executives that their 787 Dreamliners will be back in the air within weeks, not months. But first this morning, France's President Francois Hollande is leading calls for the EU embargo on supplying arms to the Syrian opposition to be lifted. Today marks the second anniversary of the start of the Syrian uprising. It's timely then that EU leaders meeting in Brussels are discussing the possibility of lifting the arms embargo, which would then allow weapons to be shipped to the rebels. Now, Britain and France favour arming the opposition. They'll have to weigh their relations, though, with Russia, which is strongly opposed. Up to 70,000 people have been killed in the conflict. So after two years of violence and with no peaceful solution in sight, our Middle East editor, Jeremy Bowen, assesses where the two sides stand. Vigils are being held, this one in Cairo, to mark Syria's descent into a third...